Israel has a high-tech economy, also to startups and universities. It could survive for long periods of time if it had its own energy. Without its own energy, it can't last for, you know, but weeks. I mean, unless there's a miracle. If we make oil come, it's the same thing as making the desert bloom. One time, you have to make the trees grow to make people live there. I mean, today you have to make the cars run in the factories. Israel's sitting on a minimum of 250 billion barrels of shale oil. That's more oil than there is in all of Saudi Arabia. Energy is what runs the economy, and they have a total stranglehold on it. We have the greatest scientists in the world. When Harold Vinegar said that he'd be willing to join us, I mean, it was as if the skies opened up, like the greatest scientist in the world is going to leave Shell, the most technically advanced oil company in the world. It was unbelievable. We've assembled the only team that can really do this. It's an inevitability. Israel has the greatest concentration of innovation, of science, and they have this huge resource and they're surrounded by enemies who don't want to give us the oil. Necessity is the mother of invention. The resource is here. The inventive people are here. The necessity is here. It's only a matter of time. This is what we're going to do.